I think this is a really blessing for the women who uh, sometimes try to avoid to make shellfish and this made us very easy. The entire purpose of this cookery competition was so that the the, 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 the protein or the, the mollusk, the uh, oyster or the the clam or the mussel be the entire hero of the dish. Today, fresh live and raw oysters are not allowed to take away to each other. Shell count 2014, the message and the depression process was live and the food is shellfish. This project aims to have a link between the farmers and the market. One of the significant outcome of this project is that is the women empowerment. The World Bank aided NAIP scheme on high-value shellfishes has found that Mutakunam area along the Vembanad Lake in Ernakulam district is suitable for oyster farming. Farmers of the region were provided series of training under the World Bank project from farming to harvesting, processing and packaging. Harvested oysters are cleaned purified through purification systems and meats are removed hygienically from shells in the oyster processing unit at Mutakundam. This has led to the development of the complete value chain from production to consumption. These purified oyster meat products are packed in attractive packets for marketing in local shops and hotels. Over the period of uh, four years, we were able to create an awareness in the city of Kochi, especially with the chefs of the five-star hotels and even the smaller hotels, so that we could convert this Kochi city something like a oyster capital of the world because we do have the best oysters on our because of our tropical climate because of our uh, nice waters around although we term it as polluted it is not a polluted water and moreover CMFRI with its great efforts have made the place sterile by constant monitoring and we are 100% sure that this oyster which is given to the public to consume, especially the foreign tourists, as of international standards with respect to any hygienic norms or quality. The NIFAT also converts them into different value-added products such as oyster curry, smoked oyster, IQF, etc. and are sold from NIFAT sales outlets. A new value chain on purified live oysters was initiated by the project and marketed directly to high-end restaurants such as CGH Group of Hotels, Taj Malabar, etc. by women self-help groups. Through this intervention, the value of individual live oysters has gone up from 75 paise to 10 rupees. The income enhancement to farmers through this value chain was as much as 10 times. 
Hearing about the success story of the Oyster Value Added Product Unit operated by women self-help groups, the Quailon Social Service Society QSSS requested the project team to help create a new value added product for short neck clams. Building on the protocols developed for oysters, a VAP unit for clams was established in June 2013, which is operated wholly by women. This helped to increase the quality of clams and the value of clams by three times. Depression and the Tanama de Kurkuna, the Undana, five star hotels, all hotels, Namala, and Yeshua Rim, Namid Sail Engine. An enterprising seafood exporter has initiated export of live oysters to Hong Kong and Taiwan markets based on this development. Oysters are consumed practically all over the world. The Indian oyster, the, uh, it's a very tasty pr uh, product. But it has not been accepted in international markets so much because probably a mindset issue with the you know, Indian oysters, the waters are, the question is whether the waters are clean enough. Because it's live oysters, they, they consume raw. CMFRI, MPDA and all those other agencies can help a lot. They can get our water certified which will help us get into those markets where you need the waters to be certified. So those are things that can be done. Generally, uh, the oysters, they come with a lot of dirt on, on the surface as well as within themselves, within the gut. So first, before we put it in our depuration tank, the, the surface is cleaned with uh, pressure washing and brushing and all those kind of things. Then it goes into the systems like this where we have cartridge filters, uh, UV, and then it goes in, it runs through that recirculation system for a couple of days where the insides get cleaned up. And then it is packed, I think. We just have to provide, you know, keep pushing, you know, provide consistent good product, full meat, clean, uh, you know, we get it tested, provide certification. I think the potential is immense. There is a, there's a lot of potential, but we need to break through several segments of the market. It takes time, it takes sustained effort. We, we can do that because our product is cheaper than, and, you know, all, all of these other countries. Right? Oysters have, fairly expensive product in the market. Shellcon, I think, uh, was kind of an eye-opener for me, personally, and my company. We had a stall, we served uh, raw live oysters at the stall. We had a huge queue of uh, our, our people, uh, common men, want, wanting to try raw oysters, which is, you know, uh, I never imagined that our people raw oysters in our country. It was a, Big eye opener. These developments have led to increased consumer awareness on the new oyster products in the market, besides awareness of the nutritional benefits of eating oysters. CMFRA scientists had conducted an awareness class for the chefs of all the leading hotels in Kerala to familiarize them with the handling of live oysters and use of processed oysters. We are promoting these oysters, especially from the, for the European market. Because our uh, um, season starts from the European, uh, guests start coming from, the, uh, from October onwards and it goes on till March. And that is the time we always feature fresh oysters 
and oyster value added products like smoked oysters and dolphins being added and it's been featured in the menu. When we talk about uh, oysters, in the, when the guests, uh, when you talk about the oysters uh, for the European guests, the first thing uh, they say, wow, is it available here? That is, uh, that is a sur uh, surprise. So when we say, yeah, it's available and it is locally, uh, it's a local product, then always they wanted to try out. And especially the uh, guests who are coming from the European countries on a, when they come here to enjoy or explore the uh, country, Kerala, they, when we say that is a Cochin oysters, definitely they go for that. What we do, or we always tell them, we explain to the guests too. So it's available in plenty in Kerala, and it is being promoted uh, and the oysters uh, and uh, develop. It's, it's uh, the CMFRA is doing a lot of promotional activities on that, and we always market it in that way so that it is safe for the guests to have it, and it has been well appreciated by them. Slowly, it is catching up. Once this project was begun and reached about 75%, necessary awareness and promotions were decimated through documentary films, advertisement films, printed materials and promotional campaigns. Oyster, the complete health food. From the various discussions and programs conducted as part of this program, numerous ideas and suggestions were received and the main idea that came about was that participation of the common man is necessary for the project to succeed. Based on this idea, it was decided that the common customers need to be familiarized with the shellfishes, the nutritional benefits of raw oysters, the methods and recipes of cooking shellfishes and such were presented through a food festival. Followed this, CMFRI organized the food festival India's first shellfish food festival and it was branded as Shellcon 2014. Partners included MPEDA, CIFT, NIFAT, Taj, CGH Group of Hotels, Women Self-Help Groups and Entrepreneurs, SAF under the EGs of Kerala Government and oyster exporters were participated in Shellcon 2014. In two days, over 3,000 visitors came to the stores and enjoyed the food items. Initially, when the project was started, the farmers used to sell the oysters only within a 5 km radius area. But now, the oysters are very popular in Kerala and I am very happy to say that the consumer can very confidently consume the, a very high quality nutritious seafood which is purely farm. Knowing the nutritive value of the oyster is highest in the uh, uncooked form, which is that is a live oyster, there were many people waiting to have a taste of fresh live oyster, that is uncooked oyster. This is something really encouraging uh, people understand and respect science and also that uh, the community in Kerala is receiving a product which is their own which can be very easily farmed in our backwaters. Mm -hmm.